What's up, YouTube? Long time no see, right? Um, got an update for you. First off, um, I want to start the video with a few thank you shout outs to some awesome channels. Uh, first one's Caliente97. He gave me a shout out. And uh, he's a pretty cool guy. I like his channel. He's got uh, leopard geckos, um, bearded dragons, and I think some kind of a knoll that he's got from like a pet store. It's all eggs and he's been hatching those out. It's pretty cool. He's, uh, he's also into skateboarding, so I'm not really into skateboarding much, but it is pretty cool, and he's pretty good at it, so if you like that sort of thing, check him out. Uh, next up is Mr. Leopard Gecko 101 um, Dude, I know you didn't really care if I gave you a shout-out or not, but I really do appreciate it, so I'm giving you a shout-out back. Uh, he's pretty cool. He's obviously into leopard geckos. Uh, he's also got an alternate channel called Farside Reptiles, so go ahead and check out both those channels. And lastly, one to Phallus Blood, because he um, did a video for me that I requested called, uh, or I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's basically just an update on his blood pythons, because um, I've been really interested in blood pythons lately. So I appreciate it, dude. Thanks for get, uh, doing that video for me. And anyways, on to the video. So first thing I guess you might notice is I got a few things moved around in here. Everything's a little bit different, not by like so much that it's just crazy difference, but it is a little different now. I've had to move a few things around because uh, you know I had I had to make that the incubator. I had to uh, kind of get a few more things in here to fit around. I um, I had to get a place for her that worked out pretty quickly, and I also got my computer up here. Plus I got these two things that I showed you a little while ago. Uh, in this thing. Uh, little 30 gallon aquarium. I actually finished a fake rock wall to it and it turned out pretty good but the paintbrush kind of scraped away some of the paint while I was sealing it so some of the detail got lost but it's still pretty cool. And actually what I have in here right now is a snake you've never seen before. California king snake. Um, I was a guy locally that was buying rats for me because I, I breed my own rats and I sell the surplus to local people who have snakes and apparently he just like lost interest or something and told me that if I bring him two adult breeder rats like a pair he'd give me the snake so I was like okay let's go get it and yeah I just brought her home I really didn't ever think I'd be owning colubrids because I'm just not I'm not into the smaller snakes I really like the big boas and pythons so what I figured I was going to be doing originally with this snake is trying to find somebody, maybe that goes to my school or just local that I kind of know, and try to help them get into snakes if they're interested. But turns out this snake has a incredible feeding response. Like if I were to open this cage top right now, she would just immediately be up and out of the cage trying to get to something to bite, whatever she could get, because. She's just, I mean, I, I even fed her like the other day and she'd still be hungry. She's crazy, but yeah, that's her. Um, the guy told me she, he was a male, but it's actually female. I tested, I checked. And uh, my blood python's actually about to shed, so there's an update video on her coming up as soon as she does, because she's gonna be a little redder and she's gonna be showing off her full color. So I really wanna do a video on that, if nothing else to kind of document it. Uh, leopard gecko babies, yeah. My leopard geckos, eggs, not, like, most of the eggs patched. I think I got, yeah, I got four babies right now that have hatched from them. Uh, let me set you guys down for a second. These racks kind of stick a little bit. But yeah, four of them have hatched. No, five of them have hatched, and uh, I still got four more eggs I'm waiting on. Uh, actually I actually have five, but one of them I'm almost positive is infertile, so I'm kind of going to ignore it for now and throw it away if it starts to rot. But anyways, here's the first batch. These are the ones I showed in that um, the video about my first babies. As you can see, they've gotten pretty big, and they're starting to get some color. Let me lighten this. Yeah. Oh, now it's on auto. There we go. Um, 
the snow's starting to get more color and speckling, but let me kind of move them. The, the uh, normal, at least I thought, I think it's a normal. Yeah, she didn't, she didn't quite have as much spotting as the snow does, so something's making me think hypo, but I really don't know a lot about leopard gecko morphs. I'm way more into boas, and I just I haven't really learned about leopard gecko morphs yet. So if anybody knows for sure whether that's actually just a high yellow normal or a hypo, I'd appreciate you telling me. And in this next tub, something interesting happened. The second batch hatched, and I figured, you know, my high yellow normal, at least I think she is, to my snow male. Turns out both of them are head for albino. So I got one albino baby and one normal baby out of that clutch. I'm pretty sure it's Tremper albino, because that's usually what uh, pet stores have. So, still pretty cool. I might hold him back, him or her, just for uh, the sake of a cool pet, because I really don't plan on breeding any more uh, leopard geckos, especially like as far as the ones I get from stores. I'm not going to be breeding them anymore, because, you know, all things should happen. I don't even know, like, what exactly these might be. But all the normals are definitely 66 head for albino now, because both of my uh, leopard geckos proved out to be both had albino for the same strain too, so if you ask me, that probably means they're siblings, so I'm definitely not going to be breeding them anymore. And before this next rack, let's go this one. This is the last baby I got. It's the most recent, and she's hiding under here. Yeah. Well, she's going to be way too hard to get out, so she basically looks the same as uh, that one, so it doesn't really matter. But this one, I went to the had sort of buy some uh, worms because I was, you know, kind of uh, out at that point, so I just went by there. And every time I go there, I kind of check out the leopard geckos and snakes and all the reptiles I have just to look at them, see if anything's special, or just usually just to look at them. It usually turns out to just be looking at them and being like, wow, these poor little things are so much malnourished. But, anyways, I found this one. And this one just struck my eye because she's got so much more color than any other of the uh, the ones they had there. As you can see, it's like creeping up onto her neck pattern and just into her saddles or whatever they call those. I call them saddles because I'm a bow guy. But you can really tell the difference if I were to get my female here, or my normal here, whatever I think she is. You can tell the difference. That's pretty much a normal one. And that's that one, so I'm pretty sure it's a tangerine. I don't really know if tangerine is actually a morph or not, but it's certainly got a lot of orange going on. Plus, got, I'm pretty sure it's like a super hypo or something, because it's got really reduced uh, you know, pigment and all that stuff. Reduced spotting, and I'm not 100% sure. I'm not, I don't plan on breeding that one. Uh, probably just gonna be a pet because I just thought it looked really cool and you know if not I don't even have to, like like I just pretty much got it because I was like I really liked it and I figured it was too pretty to end up dead in some little kids collection 10 gallon tank thing so I brought him home I don't know if he's a he or she yet I really I don't think he's gotten to the age yet kind of looking like a heat, but still a little young. But, I guess I'll show you the mother of them all. She's putting weight back on really nice. Not too fat, not too skinny. But, yeah. Um, so the reason I haven't really been doing a lot of videos lately is I've just been super busy with like trying to get everything moved around in here. Plus, um, I've been taking a lot of advice from Dave, Dave Fun, David's Fun Geckos. Uh, after he put up the video about his super worm colony, I sort of set up a... I did pretty much exactly what he did. Um, I don't actually have a lot of them in here. It's kind of pathetic. I have like three. But that's all I had at the time, so... I'm planning on getting another like little thing of them and hopefully getting the large colony going. 
Plus, I ordered my first bulk shipment of worms and some dubia roaches, so now I'm starting a dubia roach colony in here. And I have about a thousand mealworms downstairs in the refrigerator. And, um, I'll just go to the bellows now. My ghost had a mono anisite just shed the other day. So he's looking pretty good. About at his best. He's got pretty, pretty decent reduced pattern and color on him. And this is about as light as it gets. It gets. He gets a little lighter than this sometimes. But yeah, he's getting big. Um, this camcorder is showing me I have a low uh, memory card, so I'm going to pause it here and probably make an, a second part. So go ahead and check out the second part in the link right about here. And I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.